hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is jobzo today i'm going to be showing you how you can create this beautiful looking ghana flag in photoshop cc 2020 if you have previous versions you are cool to go you can still use it and it's going to work perfectly for you so to create all this thing stay tuned and let's get started so let me hide all these ones and start from scratch so to create it you need tray rectangle so just draw it by click on the rectangle shape draw your first rectangle duplicate it by clicking on alt and drag shift and that's okay so it selects the first one change the color to red second one change the color to yellow third one change the color to green and what we'll do is you transform them by click on Control T. Click on this tool over here. It's called the Warp Tool. You go to Custom Flag. Second one, you do likewise. Flag. So the Control T is what you use to transform it. And you have it right over there nice and beautiful let me extend it a bit and reduce the size so to extend it you select all of them basically and you uh, reduce the size so this is not a complete flag without the hoop of Africa the black star in the middle so to create a star I have a video on that but it just simply you just go to polygon to and select here with a shape you click on star five pointer star that's what we use in the Ghana flag and you drag your flag and you can click on shift to give you a nice one so let me just basically rotate it and as I said it's a black star not a brown star so to change the shape, just click on U to go back to the shape properties and click on black. Then transform. And this is your beautiful flag with the pole as a rectangle moving from top to down. Black pole, of course. So that's a beautiful Ghana flag over there for you so hope this video was helpful if you liked it hit on the subscribe button to subscribe and also as a bonus let me just add you how you can create the basement you just create a rectangle over here so let me just simply change this color to black and let me just duplicate it twice I'll select this one click on shift and shift before alt so you click on shift and you drag it towards the center and you click on alt okay you do that to the top one as well I think I made that one twice. So that's just basically how you can create the stand as well. You can adjust it to make it more beautiful. And hope this was cool. See you in the next video. Until then, it's bye-bye. Subscribe.